Hello, welcome to Mindful Pets. How can I help you today? Oh, that's so awesome. You adopted a, a little um, dog? That's great. I'm so glad you did. So many dogs need adopting and not a lot of people are adopting dogs. Is it a small dog or a big dog? Oh, it's a medium-sized one? Oh, that's great. Is it a poppy? No, it's an adult. Oh, awesome. Well, I think that's just marvelous. Um, how can I help you today? Well, if you don't mind, I would like to uh, register you since this is your first time at our store. So we can have an idea of the things you like to buy here with us. Also, your name, your pet's name, and just be able to give you a better, more personalized ter service. So if you would like to be registered, um, I'm just going to ask you for some uh, really basic information. Is that all right? Okay, awesome. Well, may I have your name, please? Okay. And your last name? Great. What's the name of your uh, dog? Puffy. <laughs> That's such a cute name. Is it a boy or a girl? A boy. Okay, and you told me it's an adult. How old is he? Six years old. Uh -huh. He's in his prime for sure. Um, this dog that you adopted is it a mixed breed or is it a breed and specific breed? Okay, so it's mixed. And you told me it was medium sized, right? Okay, awesome. Okay. After we um, talk a little bit and you figure out what you want to buy, I will be registering your purchases so that when you come back, we know what you prefer, what kind of brands you like, and it also helps you helps us uh, register you for any kind of promotion we might have um, specific to your needs. You tell me this is your first pet, right? That's awesome. It's gonna be a life changer for sure. <laughs> it's gonna be like your new kid, or if you don't have kids, your first furry kid. I know that from experience. I love my dog. <laughs> She's adorable. Well, anyway, what are you looking for in the store? Do you already have food for your dog? You do. Okay, so you don't eat food. Um, do you have plates where to um, feed your dog? You do. Okay, so you don't need that. Do you have a bed for you, for your pet? For Puffy? Yes. Okay, so you, you don't need that. Well, I see you're not really sure what you want to buy. And I feel as though it is my duty as an experienced pet owner to help you a little bit and help you figure out what you should buy for Puffy. Does that sound fine to you? Yes, of course. I love doing that, that's why I work here. Yes. So, there are many things I could offer for your pet, such as treats, toys, um, maybe leash leashes, or I don't know, all sorts of things. But I will start by recommending something that most people do not recommend, or forget to recommend, or recommend when it's too late. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about uh, items for your pet's hygiene. Um, I think those are very important and people take them for granted. So, I'll be showing you three items that you can use to start um, taking care of your pet's hygiene. Does that sound good? Awesome. Okay. The first item I'm going to recommend for you to buy is this brush. This is a brush for obviously brushing your pet and this will be able to catch all the hairs that are falling off your pet's fur. Um, it's gonna help detangle any tangles your pet may have and it's gonna help um, bring more moisture and make the your pet's hair shinier if you do it if you brush it consistently. Um, 
it's pretty soft although firm and it's perfect for medium-sized pets what do you think yes you want to take it awesome i really like this brand this is a very long lasting brush so you won't have to buy one for a very long time Awesome. So I'll put this in your basket for when we go to the checkout and I need to uh, write down what you bought, okay? Awesome. Another thing I like to recommend is a conditioner for uh, after you've given your pet a bath. And this conditioner is really great because it helps detangle and moisturize your pet's fur. So, um... Well, this is great for when you go out on hikes with your pet or uh, your pet gets really dirty and it, their hair gets really tangly. So in order not to hurt them when brushing them, you can use this conditioner and it also smells so, so good. Let me open it so you can smell it. What do you think? Yeah, it's really nice, right? Um, if you want, I can just spray some um, on top of this toy so you can smell it better. Yeah, there you go. Smell it. It smells so good. It doesn't even smell like a pet's conditioner. It just smells like a regular nice smelling conditioner. Okay. Do you want this to be added to your basket yes awesome that is such a great buy and it's gonna last you a very long time i can assure you that awesome the last thing i'm going to offer you to buy for your pet's uh, hygiene is a brush for dogs specifically as you can see the head of the brush is pretty small compared to a regular brush. That's because it's for our pets, um, specifically for medium-sized pets, such as the one you just uh, adopted. I only have it in this color though. I hope that's not a problem. And this helps keep your pet's teeth clean and helps avoid them falling out of their mouth. Or, you know, them losing teeth. So, I really recommend it and it's something a lot of people tend to forget. Would you like to add this to your basket? Sure. Okay. Awesome. Um, one thing I recommend but, but I almost order people to buy is um, plastic bags for when your dog is pooping. It's so important because it helps us maintain our cities clean and well our gardens clean as well and i have these bags these are really small um pretty bags they have bones actually printed on them and i have them in green blue and purple the cool thing about these bags is that they come with a scent so uh it doesn't smell like poo it doesn't smell bad when you um, pick up the the poop and uh, they're biodegradable so that's awesome right and well I really do recommend you get these for your dog's poop you'd like to buy one okay which color do you prefer blue green or purple purple okay I'll add this one to your basket then okay well, those are all the items like I recommend for like taking care of your dog's hygiene or their poo. But now I'm going to recommend for you some toys. Because um, I think toys are kind of fun. They help uh, stimulate our dogs. And when we leave them alone, they're not bored. They have something to do. I would recommend you though not to get a lot of toys. I would say buy just one first. And see if your dog is a playful dog. If it's a dog that will be interested in having toys because a lot of dogs don't pay any attention to, 
to toys and some people will buy a lot of them and they'll just never be used so i do recommend you get just one i'm gonna offer you a selection of them and you tell me which one or which ones you want to take home okay awesome i have a a basket full of toys okay the first toy i'm gonna recommend for you is this pink one it's the only color i have i'm sorry if you wanted another color for your dog um, this toy is great because it has these like texture to help them uh, nibble on it and like scratch their gums and uh, it's also very flexible it's gonna be durable but it has some holes at the ends and this is for putting in um, uh, like dry pet food and this will help them uh, be interested in the toy and try and take the food out so they'll be playing with this for a very long long time and well i do recommend this one this is a uh, one that's been sold a lot and people really seem to to like it so that's one i also have these uh these ball that um it's kind of hard but it also has uh another toy inside that makes a noise Um, this one's not been sold a lot. I think it's because it's not like squeaky. It doesn't make squeaky sounds. It makes like harsh, strong sounds and it seems to be too hard for most dogs to bite. So maybe this is something more for like a very big dog of, rather than a, a medium or a small dog. But I do offer it anyway if you're interested in it. Okay, so that's another one. Um, I also have this one that you already saw. It looks like a fidget spinner, but it's actually for throwing, like when you go out with your dog to a park or in the garden. And it's just made out of like cotton and it's uh, very fluorescent as you can see, so you don't lose it or lose sight of it. And it's also for them to bite on. It's very durable and it makes a squeaky sound. <laughs> so that's also something that uh, a lot of pet owners like and dogs really really love so that's the other one and finally i have this very very simple and um regular rope for dogs to bite on and scratch their gums with and that's basically all it does it's just a very small one and it's the only one i have at the moment but if you're interested in it obviously you can take it home with you so those are all the toys that I have right now. I don't know if you're interested in any of them. You would like to take the fidget spinner one. Okay, awesome. Yeah, the fluorescent and squeaky one. Okay, so I just added that to your basket. And uh, finally, I'm going to go into treats that I will recommend for you. I just have two kinds of treats at the moment. We are running a little bit low on those. But let me show you. So I have individual treats that we sell. I have these treats that we sell individually. And these are treats that are more on the moist side of treats. Um, they're supposed to be bacon flavored, but they're actually made of potatoes and they help uh, our pets clean their teeth and scratch their gums. They do smell like bacon a lot. Yeah, right? Um, but well, we sell these individually. And well, if you're interested, I, you could get these. Or I sell um, milk bones. I do sell these uh, in the whole box. And well, these are just uh, like more on the crunchy dry side of treats. These are for medium sized dogs and they're made of whole wheat, chicken meal, um, corn gluten, flaxseed, milk obviously, and some other things. Um, this is a, a brand that's made here in Canada and it's pretty um, pretty popular amongst our customers. Um, this is one of the last boxes that we have at the moment. And well, yeah, this is 
another kind of treat that you could get you can either get the individual pieces or you can get the entire box so it's up to you you want to get the entire box okay well i'll put this in your basket then. okay well um that concludes all the things i recommend for you i don't know if you want anything else if you have anything else in mind that would be all for you okay awesome well in that case i would like to then just uh write down all the things you bought on our system before you go to pay and um this way this way we will be able to see uh what kind of things you've purchased in the past what are your preferences and obviously have like a history of your dog and its needs so I'm gonna uh, ask for some more information. Uh, you said that your dog has all of the um, vaccines that it needs, right? It does? Well, the next time you come, um, if you bring the the small like pamphlet where all, where all the, the vaccines come and the stickers come, uh, that prove that you've vaccinated your pet, uh, we will give you a 10% in any kind of medical treatment that you need for your pet. We will write that down here. Also, because it's your first time coming here with us, we're going to give you a free bath and cut for your dog. Um, so this promotion is only uh, available until the end of the month. So if you come after April, you will not be able to uh, use this promotion. So I do recommend you bring your dog before that for a free bath and cut, which is really nice. Uh, you will only have to give us your name and Puffy's name so that we know uh, what customer you are. Okay. So I'm going to write down the things that you bought and just put them over here in the basket. Okay, so you got the brush, you also got the conditioner, you got the toothbrush, the poopy bags, <laughs> um, the, the fluorescent uh, fidget spinner toy, and the box of milk bones, right? Is that all? Yeah, okay. Well, and that'll be all for today. Uh, if you need anything else, please let me know. And you can go over there with my uh, partner to pay for all your purchases. So I'm just gonna give you the basket. <laughs> Here you go. And have a, a nice day and it was a pleasure to meet you. I hope that you enjoyed our services here at Mindful Pets and we hope to see you soon. Okay, bye. Nice to meet you.